So, Lawrence, thanks for joining us today. Afternoon, Rob. Hey, so first product up is the quick draw water purifier that you're about to show us. And do you want to tell us a bit more about that? We'll do, and I'll pull you up on something straight away. Oh. We have uh, purifiers and we have filters. So when we refer to purifiers, we're talking about filters that remove viruses in addition to everything else. Filters, which the quick draw is, will remove bacterial matter. Well, I never. So this goes to show, I'm going to confess now, Lawrence, I've never reviewed a water purifier or a water filter. So I feel relatively comfortable in my ignorance right now. If I'd reviewed them, I'd feel bad. Uh, but if this was Dan Bailey standing in front of you, he'd know the difference, which shows something terrible about me. But tell me more about this then, because I feel like I'm ready to learn. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but the reason why probably ever reviewed a water purifier is there are very few on the market. The leading one is an MSR product, which is the Guardian. So the big difference is a filter will remove particulate and bacteria down to point. 0 0.2, 0 0.2 microns, you know, that sort of level. Whereas a viral filter, a purifier, will remove a whole factor of 10 less than that, so 0 0.02 microns. So it's down to filtration size. I remember when we could attend trade shows in reality, in fact, back when the Guardian purifier was first released, uh, there being a real, they had a vat of what looked like the world's most infected water. It was like the toilet let out of train botting on the MSR stand and they were there with the Guardian basically pumping this out and almost giving it people to drink. Yeah, I mean, they talk about testing worst case scenario water and to pass the tests, I mean, there are various water tests that you can do, um, but most of them are, they're not the non-essential. You don't have to pass the test to sell water filters, uh, you wouldn't believe, but that's the case. Um, MSR, has adopted the, so the American testing body standards, the NSF, and they test to what they call the P231 standard, which is very boring, but it is basically, they test worst case water scenario at the beginning of the test life of the filter and at the end life. You don't have to test for the full 10 days of the test, and most companies choose not to test for the full 10 days. So when you buy a filter, the thing you want to do with most brands is how many days do you test your water for? because some companies make very spurious claims about um, water filtration. So the good news from an end user perspective is that it doesn't matter whether this product is fresh out the box or a little crusty around the edges, it's still going to keep performing to a, you know, a high level. Exactly. I mean, with a lot of filters, you, you have no idea when they actually stop protecting you. You can keep drinking the water. I mean, your filter could be exhausted after 100 litres of usage. And you can keep on drinking the water and it's dirty. With all MSR and platypus filters, basically, they will stop filtering water when it's no longer safe for them to do so. Okay, so it's a real binary situation and the zero yeah. and one. If it stops working, you need to stop drinking. Yes. You know. So, I mean, and we've got... Wanna, I was going to say, do you want to tell us a little bit about how this one works then? Because from the outside looking in where I am right now, it's hard to conceptualize actually how it works. It looks like a really neat little device. So I'll hold it a little bit closer, but essentially it is, you know, sort of smaller than my hand in length. It's very light. I mean, we're looking at 101 grams for the filter and the bottle that we supply with it. So you can buy it as filter only, or you can buy it with the bottle. Now, it's got a clean cover cap, so here. So this is where the water comes out of. And you've got a pouring spout or you can just plunge that into a bottle. You've then got your dirty side cap. So here, take this off, and you'll get a better image of this you know, for us to show on screen. But inside here, you've got the hollow fiber. The dirty water is entering through this end, and it comes out here. So if I take the bottle that's supplied with, that would attach on, and it benefits on, give it a squeeze, and then you could squeeze and roll water through there. The beauty of this system is it has a specific bottle that's designed to work with it, but it'll also work with our previous soft bottles, all of those. It'll work with smart water bottles. You know, there's a whole range of bottles it'll work with. And just to give you an idea of how quickly it works, I mean, this isn't perfect, but um, you're looking at about 20 seconds to filter a litre. So this might get a little bit noisy, but... 
I was just about to say, not just noisy, Lawrence, but I'm slightly worried about what it's doing to your laptop right now. Don't worry about a laptop. That'll be fine. <laughs> but you get an idea. I mean, you can quite easily pass 20 seconds, uh, 20, sorry, a litre through it in 20 seconds. But it's very, very simple. I was going to say, it's the ease of use that seems to be the key for me because, um, you know, I'm someone who's used them very infrequently over the years, despite the fact that I've done a lot of walking in, I always think of it's upland areas where you look around and there's sheep everywhere. And I remember on a mountain marathon, taking a big gulp out of a uh, river stream only to go up about three meters above and see the corpse of a sort of sheep splayed out, just thinking, I am going down. Uh, but yeah, yeah it's no, something that- I mean, I've had, I've had food poisoning off the back of a mountain marathon. And that's just drinking water. And um, I wasn't sure if it was on the first day where there wasn't much water around and I was drinking it from spurious places or on the second day where there was lots of water because of runoff and it was dirty. But ultimately what you get if you drink dirty water is food poisoning and it's not pleasant. There are lots of people in the UK who will say, you know, seasoned walkers who say, I've never used a filter and I don't need to use a filter. Why would I want a filter in the UK? And the answer to that is, those people are generally making a judgment about where they're taking the water from. So they're essentially they're going thirsty. You know, they might be out for a walk in the summer last year when we had a, you know, six weeks of dry weather and they're looking at the pool of water going, I'm not drinking from that. Now that doesn't mean you don't need a filter. It just means you've chosen to be thirsty if you have any water. Whereas if you've got a filter, you can choose to drink. I guess that's it. It just opens things up a little. And also it just keeps you a little on the safe side as well. I mean, the other example I was going to think of as well is if you are camping and again, I think mainly of more touristy areas here, say busier areas like Snowdonia or the Lake District next to popular tarns, you know, that have people camping in them, people obviously passing, shall we say, uh, nearby. And again, those areas can end up as quite, you know, sort of hot spots in that respect. Yeah, I mean, one of the questions that will come up from users is, why would you use something like this, which is, you know, £35 versus, you know, a Guardian purifier at 350 And the answer to that is, in the UK, it's really a, a protection from a bacterial infection that we're looking for rather than a viral infection. Viruses are passed from human to human on, in large, and it is, it's viruses like hepatitis. And, you know, so it's, it's more in third world scenarios where, you know, people are defecating, the sewage going straight into water courses um, and where people have the virus in the first place. Now, clearly we're referring to, you know, wild camping where people, you know, are defecating near a water source, but it's unlikely that they have a virus. So on the, you know, you're risking it to an extent by using a virus filter, but it's also highly unlikely that you're going to get a virus in the UK from, a, and, from water contamination. And it is fair to say as well that there is both a price and a weight penalty if you do want a full-blown purifier. I mean, it's quite literally 10 times more expensive, isn't it? And obviously a size penalty as well. Yes, I mean, we have got, I mean, coming in this year as well, and we're not reusing this today, but there is a gravity version of the Guardian purifier out next month. And that has a slightly lower price to it. And it's a little bit lazier in that you just hold up 10 litres of water in a bag and the water just flows through it. Um, so it's great for group usage. But I mean, most of these systems refer to, I mean, this is certainly a personal system. You know, I mean, the flow rate on this is very good. You could quite happily filter group water through it. But we also do gravity systems where you hold up four litre bag of water and again, it flows down through to it. So there are various options. But this is, you know, for the individual user, this is phenomenal. That looks fantastic. And for £35 as well, it's quite a convenient, it's, it's kind of one of those things, I guess, which you could easily just pop in your pack and kind of forget about until the point of which you need to use it. Yeah, I mean, they are becoming a sort of a ubiquitous product, you know, along with, you know, people used to always have a set of lucky poles. You know, it's, it is become, it is going to become a thing where you, you go out for filter as well because, you know, a litre of water is a kilo. You know, you go, do, go out for a day, you know, you're carrying a lot of extra water potentially you don't need to be carrying if you have something as light and simple as this to use. Um, and then packaged, as you said, £35 for the individual or 45 you know, if you want the bottle with it as well. The beauty of the bottle is it's got a slightly wider opening than our soft bottles have. And it's also got a handle on it so you can scoop water or hold it away, you know, trying to keep your fans as dry as possible. Great. Thanks ever so much for taking us through that, Lawrence. All right. Thank you for your time, Rob.